All right, what's going on out there, Gold Chasers? Now this video is kind of an impromptu video. I just felt the need to put it out there. So if you, you're checking out the channel for the first time, my name is Tashambi Berry, aka Cali Hustle 619 and this is Gold Chasers, and this is where we discuss motivation, you know, basically chasing goals, fitness, and, and whatever, you know, whatever you got out there that you're looking to attain, this is attaining those goals. And so I really felt like uh, I was just driving in my car and I was like thinking, you know, I was constantly thinking about stuff. And, um, you know, my journey is a weight loss journey. So, you know, a lot of times it's that. And um, this is my first week getting back into it, getting back into the working out and getting back into trying to eat healthy and intermittent fasting and all of that. And I was I was just thinking of ways that I could express that. Um, and, and I had two acronyms that came to mind, um, and they are uh, ETP, which is enjoy the process or embrace the process, whatever works for you. But for me, it's an enjoying the process. It's, it's a, a mixture of both, but enjoying and embracing that process and respecting the gains, respect those gains. And so what those mean to me or what, Let's start off with enjoying the process, what that means to me. So what that means to me is, you know, for everything that you do, you have a process. And for me, this process is my journey. Um, and it really is your body of work. Like um, anything that you've done where you were successful and even where you failed, it's a lot of work that goes into it. So for fitness, you know, you, you you have a start point and you got an end point. Let's say we're talking about a 5K run. You got a start line and you got a finish line. Um, and the process is everything in between there. You know, and a lot of times that's the hardest part is that process. Trying to get from point A to point B is the hardest part. Uh, a lot of times we like to enjoy the finish line or enjoy the results. But we, you know, for me, I feel like thinking about the process is what eventually catches up to me and stops me from wanting to do it. So um, the way I feel is like for a lot of people out there who are like what you would call like fitness junkies or gym rats or whatever, they found a way to wake up and and enjoy being in the gym working out pushing their bodies harder than ever and for a lot of people out there it sounds crazy but in order for you to be consistent which is a huge thing you have to fall in love with that process and so i have to change my mindset to not only enjoy that that destination, that point B, but everything in between there. I have to, to enjoy when, when I have, you know, let's, like I said, it's a 5K, it takes me an hour and a half to finish. I, I have to look at it like, damn, okay. What am I gonna do next time? A lot of times you'll sit there and You'll see how in your head you feel you failed and that um, it discourages you from wanting to try again. And you have to change that mindset to you might not have done it in the time that you thought you would do it in, but there's always next time. And next time I'm going to kill it. You know, next time I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to do better. And even if you don't next time, there's always a next. Every day you wake up, you have the opportunity to do better than you did before. And then once you do, like for me, once I do hit that goal, what's the next goal? What am I going to do now? You know, I, I did the, the 5K in under, you know, uh, an hour and a half. All right. That goal has been attained, which hasn't. It is, this is an actual goal of mine. Last time I did a 5K, it was an hour and a half. So I plan on walking one tomorrow and doing better. But, 
you know, tomorrow I just want to see how many minutes, if any, that I come in under the mile or under an hour and a half. And then from there, and then I, you know, I can set another goal, set another goal. Um, I know what I used to do, you know, and even that, even, you know, the five Ks I used to do um, would be slow to some people, but they were a good speed for me. Um, but now <laughs> the speed I'm doing them is, is far slower than back then. But, um, you know, every day that I wake up, I can push and push to get to that, to get to where I was and then to get, you know, further, faster, stronger. So you have to enjoy it. You have to enjoy that challenge. Enjoy it, you know, because... If you don't, then you're almost destined to fail or destined to stop. And I think that's what makes me stop a majority of the time. It's like you sit there and think about, oh, damn, I got to go run this track again. And, you know, you're not <laughs> like for me, it's like I'm not getting paid to do this. But in the reality, you know, you going out there and pushing your body to the limits is going to pay off because it's going to give you a longer uh, uh, lifespan, um, hopefully. <laughs> but it's supposed to, you know, help you get healthy. Being healthy is not a bad thing. So it is paying. It's paying dividends. It might not be cash, but it is paying you in health. And so health is well. <laughs> so you got to enjoy it. You know, you got to enjoy it. You got to you got to find something inside you that's going to make you um, hungry, hungry to go out there and do it again and do it again and keep doing it until, you know, you get to what you want, because you, you'll never achieve a goal if you stop or if you quit. You'll never get there. And that goes for a lot, you know, a lot more than just uh, fitness. If you, if you, you know, whatever your job is, if you have a goal at that job and you decide in the middle of the process that you don't want to do it anymore, you'll never get to what you were trying to get. You'll never get to that goal. You know, I, I like to call myself a YouTuber, but I haven't been very consistent with this YouTube video making. And so my goal is to put out more videos, to get more, um, to get more subscribers, to get more people just viewing my videos, you know, because I don't do this because, you know, I need YouTube money or anything or YouTube fame for that matter. I do this because if there's one person that I can reach out to and who's who's in the same boat I am and I can motivate them and they can motivate me then my job is done that's why I do this and this is a platform that I use to do it so in order to do that you have to have consistency you have to because there's youtubers that I watch and when they go on these long hiatuses I'll be sitting there like where they go where they go when am I gonna get my next fix you know when am I gonna get that so you have to be consistent. And if you're not, then people will eventually forget about you. And so, you know, in this spot I'm in now, no one is really looking for me, but I want to be in a position where people are looking for me. People are waiting for my next video. People are being motivated. And people are joining me in the things that I do to try to, you know, uh, chase those goals or, or reach those goals. So. Well, that's where I'm at with that. But like I said, like this, uh, enjoying the process, embracing the process, it's universal. It can be used for whatever it is, whatever goal you're trying to achieve, you can use that. And that, so the, the other part of it is respecting the gains. So that is another place where I fall short. And I feel like that's a... a, a where a lot of people fall short, you know? Um, what they say, what's the best way to eat an elephant? And it's like one bite at a time. So, you know, a lot of people want to 
go to sleep and wake up the next day um, with meeting a goal weight or whatever, lose all this weight in one day, and it's not going to happen. You know, a lot of times it's going to take, you know, those one pound weeks, two pound weeks before you eventually have lost 50 pounds. You don't just lose 50 pounds in one day. It's that consistency that gets you there. So for me and for a lot of people, they get discouraged when they they feel they push so hard during the week. Get on the scale and they only lost one pound. Or they plateaued, or they might even gain a pound, or whatever, you know. They work so hard with their fitness, they work so hard eating right and doing whatever, and the scale's not showing me what I need to see. So they say the scale is bad. The scale is bad for you. But um, at the end of the day, whatever the result is, you need to respect that. If it is, if you did gain a pound, you need to respect that and push harder next week. A lot of times for me and everything I speak of is something that I've gone through. So I don't want to look, you know, you can look at me now and you can see I haven't reached whatever goal it is I'm trying to reach, but I'm pushing forward, you know, to try to get that. And I have lost, you know, a lot of weight and I did just not respect the process I didn't respect the process at all because at some point I decided to stop and I'm not sure if deciding to stop (laughs) if in my brain I thought I was going to continue to lose weight and continue to stay in some kind of shape or whatever but I stopped and then when I gained the weight back then I was sitting there looking like well why did that happen or how did that happen it happened because I stopped. I, I, I wasn't consistent anymore. I had given up. And and I had given up after losing 80 pounds. <laughs> like, so, you know, you have to respect those gains. Like, I had weeks where I would lose one pound and was kind of like, what am I doing this for? And then I had weeks that I lost five pounds and was like, hell yeah, let's go. Um, but the way I look at it now is when I lose that one pound, I need to be like, hell yeah, let's go. If I lose half a pound, hell yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's get this. Because if not, then I might as well not even do anything. You know, what's the point of a goal if you're not even trying to work towards it? So, you know, that's that's where I'm at with respecting those gains. I have to learn how to take what I'm given and be like, all right, so I I just lost a pound. All right, next week I'm going to go in there and I'm going to do what I need to do to lose another pound or lose whatever. Like, not to get discouraged and just go home and just uh, uh, binge, you know, because a lot of people, including myself, get emotional. You get emotional. And you let your emotions take over and then you just go eat whatever like what's the point of doing all this work for one pound i might as well just go eat up a whole damn kitchen (laughs) so and and no matter how ridiculous that sounds at the time it doesn't it feels right (laughs) it feels like that's what i'm about to do you know all you know them snacks that i was Letting sit on the shelf because I was in the gym pushing hard. Well, I only lost a pound, so I'm about to eat them bad boys. And for me, you know, one day is a gateway to a year, it seems like. It'll start off with one day, me saying, like, you know what, I'm going to take a rest day and I'm about to chow down. Next thing you know, it's a year later, and I done gained all the weight plus some. And I'm like, well, what happened? So, you know, it's definitely a mindset change and I'm, I'm gonna take that and run with it. I need that mindset to, to, I need my mindset to be focused on consistency um, and, and not taking, you know, those, you know, one pound weight losses or the half a pound or whatever, not taking them so, 
so hard, you know, take them as a challenge. Take it as your body saying, hey, what else you got for me? Oh, I got a lot for you. You know, I got a lot for Let's go. You know? So that's that's where I'm at. You know, you respect, you, you, well, not respect, you embrace the process and respect the game. And if this becomes your mindset, or it's it's got to become my mindset. Cause I made it up. But... <laughs> Um, you know, with this mindset, I feel like uh, I will keep pushing forward and I'll keep that consistency because um, I'll, I'll be so in tune with myself to where I want, I want to see myself do great, great things. I want to see myself reach those goals. Even on bad days, we all have bad days where we just like, I don't feel like going to the gym. I'm sore or whatever, you know, or you might miss a day. You know, that's always my biggest problem. I miss a day. And then again, the next year I'm sitting here like, damn, it was more than a day. So um, it's just like, you know where your flaws are. So you got to build on those strengths. And with habit, you know, you can eliminate those weaknesses. So that's that's what I meant. I just had to put this message out there. It was longer than expected, but it I felt it's a good message. I felt like somebody needed to hear it, and and I'm here to put it on there for you. Um, so you know, please like and subscribe. Check out my my Facebook. I had a page called Gold Chasers. Um, I'll try to post, well, I try to post it daily where I'm working out and just talking about my, my pain. Um, so I decided every day I was going to post it, you know, Hey, I'm still in pain, but I'm still here <laughs> until, you know, I'm out, I'm not in pain anymore. And then I'll do more of a weekly check-in. And so check out Facebook, uh, you know, the gold chasers, I have that. And then I also have IG. Um, Cali Hustle 619, and that's where I also will post the workout, and I also talk about, hey, I'm still here. I'm still in pain, but I'm still here in the gym, and so I'm still working on it. So check those out. Um, please like and subscribe to this channel because, you know, I, I do. I want to reach someone, and I want to help someone. So if this video helps you or helps somebody you know, Please pass it on. Um, so, yeah. So, if you're out there doing your thing, my old saying used to be, keep chasing those goals. But my new saying is, if you're out there doing your thing, embrace the process or enjoy the process and respect the game. I'm going to see you at the next video.